Okay, so between the University and Golden Gate Bridge, sort of, or at least the Golden Gate Bridge Park, you take this road, I think, I think it's 19 or something? When is it never busy? I wonder if the closer I get to the Golden Gate Bridge, the foggier it gets. <laughs> wow, they got a picture. Oh, I should get closer and take a picture of that. Some kind of political ad. But it's, it's definitely very foggy. And I was going to say something else. Oh well. Without getting too close, make America Britain again. I don't know, something about criminals. It's a no parking 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. every Wednesday. So that's the regulation you're looking at. You could stay overnight. You know, you don't need a lot of... You know, you don't, you don't need the rain in Seattle to feel grungy. The fog of San Francisco makes me feel grungy. Yeah, I'm just going down one street. There's a lot going on. I have to say, I mean, it's, it's really, this is conspiracy theorist stuff, but I really believe that the Chinese are pooling their money to buy up neighborhoods around here. They know the value and they have the power in their culture to, to coordinate efforts to help others buy individual homes for the greater collective. This is not even Chinatown. I am like four miles away from Chinatown. I think it's east of here. There's interesting architecture on this street. Um, approaching Lawton, this is the Cypress Golden Gate, senior living, Cypress at Golden Gate.
bikes permitted on roadways and designated paths only. So I think this is probably a designated path. Maybe they don't want shortcuts through here. Museum Garage, the Young Museum. It's not supposed to be raining today. Extremely busy parking. I just passed by the Japanese tea garden. This looks designed for hummingbirds. Alright, so I may have taken a wrong turn. Just gotta keep moving forward and seeing where it leads. So I had to remove my socks because the itch was so bad. I've stopped at two stores and the highest they go up for sizes are 12. I think it's because a lot of the Chinese have smaller feet. So I'm not going to find many choices for larger sizes. I, I tend to find the larger sizes in a Walmart or other big box stores, but not around here. I really am lost in this this large park. It's like Grand Central. It's like the equivalent of the New York's Central Park, but it's a Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. It's pretty good size. You can't get lost. All right, I'm out of the park. Oh, bike route. Oh, I can't cross anymore. Wonderful. On the edge of Golden Gate Park, they got all these rules. I'm going to look for 8th Street, take a left. There's some kind of a tour bus. The City Tour San Francisco. Nobody on it. I wouldn't pay for it. They put an extraordinary amount of effort into watering this area, this large park. So it's going to be unusually lush. No parking 9 to 11 on Wednesday. So I could come over here and park all night. No parking, long vehicles. I think that's the 22 feet. Kind of targets RVs. So I could park, but it's so busy. Doesn't take long going without socks before I start getting operation problems and the shoes. I really, I don't want to put the socks back on though. I want to wash them really. That would be the best relief. Get them to the sink. Get them to the library sink. <laughs> Find out if it's a public, how much privacy I get.